我们再次的祷告。Let us pray once again. 主，我们今天早上要来领受你的话。Lord, this morning as we come before you to receive your word. 我们知道你的话是大有能力的。We know that your word is full of power. 愿你的圣灵在我们每一个人的心中动工。May your Holy Spirit come and work in our heart. 让你亲自对我们每一个人说你要。我们听到的话。Come and speak to us your personal message. 我们将以下的时间恭敬仰望交托给你。We commit reverently the following time unto your hand. 祷告奉主耶稣基督的名。In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. 我们教会今年的主题是一切都因基督，一切都为基督。So the theme for our church this year is all from Christ, all for Christ. 今天我们要从一个圣经人物来看，他是如何一生只为主。Today, let's take a look at a、uh, let take, let's take a look at one Bible character, how he spent his whole life for Christ only. 我们要看的人物是施洗约翰。So he's none other than John the Baptist. 我相信大家都。认识施洗约翰。I'm sure all of you are familiar with him. 施洗约翰他出生在一个利未支派。John the Baptist was born in the Levite's family. 祭司撒加利亚的家中。So he was actually born in the household of the priest Zechariah. 约翰这个名字是神的礼物或者神的恩赐。The name John means God's gift or God's、um, grace. 约翰的名字是怎样来的呢 ？So how did John get his name? 由于撒加利亚和和伊丽莎白他们年老了都没有一个儿子。As Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth, they were now at their very old age, and yet they haven't got any children yet. 所以看起来好像没有的生了。It seems like they are barren. They are going to be barren for the rest of their life. 也就有一天。Suddenly one day. 天使向撒加利亚显现。The angel appeared before Zechariah. 就告诉他他撒加利亚不要害怕，因为你的祈祷已经被听见了。你的妻子伊丽莎白要给你生一个儿子，你要给他起名叫约翰。And the angel told him, "Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John." 他要为主预备道路，正如以撒以撒亚先知书上记着。看啊，我要差遣我的使者在你面前，他要为你预备道路。As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare my way, who will prepare your way. 所以今天我们就从四本福音书来看，施洗约翰他怎样一生只为主。Today, let us take a look at the four gospel books and see how John spent his whole life only for Christ. 首先就是要预备自己被主使用。First of all, let's prepare yourself to be used by God. 施洗约翰在母腹的时候，上帝就拣选他了。Even while John the Baptist was in his mother's womb, he has been chosen by God. 要使用他成为弥赛亚的开路先锋。God chose him to be the messenger for Messiah. 这是上帝赐给施洗约翰一生的计划。This is actually the plan that God has for John the Baptist. 那路加福音一章八十节讲到。In Luke chapter one verse eighty, here it says. 这孩子渐渐长大，心灵坚强，住在旷野，直到。他在以色列人面前公开出现的日子。And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he lived in the wilderness until he appeared publicly to Israel. 施洗约翰他几时才出来传道啊 ？So when did John the Baptist begin to appear publicly in Israel to share the gospel? 按照圣经的记载 ，According to the Bible, 路加福音三章一节讲到。在该撒提比留在位第十五年，他才出来。According to the Bible, he actually appeared publicly only in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar. 大约就是公元二十八年。Which was about year AD 28. 那时施洗约翰大概二十九岁。He was about 29 years old by then. 哎，施洗约翰他还没有出生，上帝就给他一个很重要的。Now, don't forget. Even way before he was born, he was already given by God a very important task. Why did God wait until he was 29 years old before God started to use him? Why did God wait until he was 29 years old before God started to use him? Why did God wait until he was 29 years old before God started to use him? God had wasted a lot of time. 请问今天我们要做一件事情的时候，我们需不需要预备 ？Now, let me ask you. When you want to do something, do you need some preparation for it? 
。我们今天参加一场比赛。When you want to take part in a competition. 需要预备吗 ？Do you need to prepare for it？ 我们需要预备。Yes, we need。如果等下我突然间请一位弟兄或姐妹上前来，嗯，你请你们领那个回应诗歌，有人敢上来吗 ？So if I were to suddenly ask some of you, any one of you, to come up here and lead us in this response hymn, will you do that? Will any of you do that？ 没有预备的人，他应该不敢上来。Those who are unprepared, I guess, most of the time they dare not to do that spontaneously. 就算敢上来，他也不知道领什么诗歌。Even if you dare to stand up here, you might be clueless what song to sing. 因为没有预备。Because you are not well prepared. 一个还没有预备好的军人被派上用场，一定是白白送死。A soldier who is not well prepared, who had been sent to the battlefield, will definitely sacrifice his life. 所以如果没有预备，事情一定会做不好。If you are not well prepared, definitely this thing will not turn out well. 甚至会失败。You might even experience failure. 中国的最后一个皇帝。You know the very last emperor of China. 爱新觉罗溥仪。溥仪 emperor. 他的父亲光绪帝在他两岁多的时候就去世了。His father, the Emperor Guangxu, passed away while he was only a two-year-old child. 所以他两岁多就要继承皇位了。And so he, uh, he succeeded the throne at the age of two years old. 两岁多的小朋友在做什么、啊、？Let me to ask you, what are the two-year-old toddlers are doing? 甩勺子啊！<笑> They're just sucking their thumbs. 但是溥仪他就要统管整个中国了。And yet this emperor Pu Yi, who was at his age of two, had to reign the whole China. 两岁多的小皇帝。He was this a little emperor who was two years old. 所以我们可以想到，想象到可以发生什么事情。So you could imagine what would happen next. 所以溥仪做了皇帝三年过后。So after his Um, reign for three years. China just burst into Xinhai Revolution. There was this、uh, Xinhai Revolution, 1911, in China. So Pu Yi, in his completely not knowing what was happening, was made emperor. So Pu Yi,、uh, emperor, while he was totally clueless, he was being pushed up to the throne. Five years old, he was being pushed up to the throne. And while he was five years old, still even clueless, and he was suddenly no longer the emperor. He was not prepared. He wasn't prepared. 施洗约翰等了二十九年。And yet, look at our John Baptist. He waited for twenty-nine years. 上帝才让他登场。Then only God made him to、uh, appear publicly. 在这些日子里，上帝是刻意把他隐藏起来的。God purposely, deliberately hid John the Baptist throughout that twenty-nine years. 上帝刻意隐藏他，是要预备他，而且同时也是要。The very purpose of God doing so was to hide him before the Israelites and also to protect him. 那二十九年里面，他约翰他是怎样预备自己的呢 ？So how did John prepare himself throughout that twenty-nine years? 经文说他住在旷野。So according to the Bible, he lived in the wilderness. 然后他身穿骆驼毛的衣服，腰束皮带，吃的是蝗虫和野蜜。He actually had a leather belt around his waist. He ate locusts and wild honey. 四十约翰他生在祭司的家族里面。John the Baptist was born in this priest household. 但他的父母没有让他过这祭司的生活。And yet his parents didn't let him、uh, grow up to be like a priest. 反而栽培他像先知以利亚一样。Instead, they actually brought him up like the prophet Elijah. 正如当年天使。告诉撒加利亚说的那样。Just like many years ago, when the angel told Zechariah, 这个孩子他要在主面前将要伟大，淡酒烈酒都不喝，从母腹里就被圣灵充满，他要使许多人以，他要使许多以色列人回转，归于主他们的神，他将要有以利亚的精神和能力。For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink. And he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah. 因此，约翰他的父母从小就让他过一个过一个简朴的生活。That's why his parents allowed him to lead a very simple life since he was young. 给他住在旷野。He Was、uh, he was allowed to live in the wilderness? 让他让他学习不要仰赖其他的人 ，so that he could learn to be independent from any other person. 自己去找蝗虫野蜜来吃。He actually went and searched for、um, locusts and wild honey for food. 单单的寻求上帝。He sought after the Lord wholeheartedly. 所以施洗约翰是在这样子的一个环境下长大。It is under such a circumstance that 
John the Baptist grew up. 后来才能够预备好，为耶稣基督开路。That's why he could be well prepared later on to be the messenger, the forerunner for our Christ. 弟兄姐妹 ，Dear brothers and sisters， 上帝在你我的生命中都有美好的计划。God has a beautiful plan in your life and in my life。在我们还没有出场执行上帝那荣耀的计划之前 ，Even before we go、uh, um, get onto the stage to carry out this glorious plan， 我们要预备好自己。We must first prepare ourselves。以致轮到我们上场的时候。So that when it's time for us to appear on the stage， 我们才会有最好的表现。We can shine for the best。如果一个人还没有预备好 ，If a person is not ready yet， 上帝就把他推上台。Suddenly he's being pushed onto the stage by God， 他一定会做不好。Definitely he won't be able to carry out his ma- his task well。上帝往往要使用一个人之前，他一定会预备他。When God wants to use a person，God will first。Prepare that person. We look at Joseph. He was like that. Let us take a look at the life of Joseph. He was like that. Moses, he was like that. So did Moses. David, he was like that. Even David. Even Jesus Christ Himself, he took him thirty years to be well prepared before he came up to the stage. Even Jesus Christ took him thirty years to be well prepared before he came up to the stage. Even Jesus Christ Himself, he took him thirty years. Perhaps your boss hasn't promoted you. 可能牧师一直都没有给你机会去负责某一样的事工。Perhaps the pastor hasn't asked you to take care of any ministry yet. 如果是这样的话，你不用担心，也不要慌张。If this is the case, don't feel panic yet. 上帝不让你出场，他是要保护你，要预备你。When God didn't ask you, hasn't called you up onto the stage yet. Because God wants to protect you. God wants to prepare you. Because He doesn't want you to hit the wall. God doesn't want you to embarrass yourself. So don't be afraid. Don't look at your current situation. 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 Don't look at your 因为时候到了，自然就是你上场的时间。Because when the time is right, it will it will be the best moment for you to go up the stage. 可能你会问 ，Perhaps you will ask， 几时才算时候到呢？嗯、mm, ，Then when is the best time for me to go up？ 几时才算时候到 ？When is the best time？ 你预备好了，时候就到。Well, the moment when you are well prepared, that is the time. 你预备好了。时候就到。When you are well prepared, that is the time. 第二点。Secondly， 只做上帝吩咐的事。You do only what God instructs you to do. 是约翰他准备好了。So now John the Baptist was all ready. 终于可以上场了。Finally, he were to go up the stage. 他一出场就去到旷野。So he first appeared in the wilderness. 然后他宣讲悔改的洗礼，使罪得赦。犹太全地和全耶路撒冷的人都出去。到约翰那里承认他们的罪，在约旦河里受他的洗。He preached a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. 是许约翰还没有出来之前 ，Even before John the Baptist appeared in the public， 犹太人已经四百年没有从上帝那里借着先知跟他们讲话了。It had already Been fourteen, four hundred years that the Israelites hadn't heard any message from God. 因此，当四十约翰以先知的姿态站出来的时候 ，And that's why the moment when John the Baptist appeared as a prophet， 然后他又是祭司的家族 ，And he also came from this family of priests， 加上他的宣讲也一定很棒 ，And I'm sure his preaching was very powerful. 所以，全犹太的百姓都去到他那里。接受他的教导和受洗。That's why people from all Judean country came to him to repent before him and to receive his teaching. 在四十约翰的侍奉中，有一一个功课，有一个榜样是我们可以学习的。Out of his life, there is one homework or lesson that we can learn from John the Baptist. 就是他不管面对到什么情况或者压力 ，No matter under what kind of situation or under what pressure， 他都只做上帝吩咐的事。John the Baptist only did. 
what God instructed him to do. Matthew chapter three, verse seven to nine. You can see many Pharisees and Sadducees came to him to seek him. They said, "Look, the animals of the tribe of Levi are being killed. Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Is it the tribe of Levi? Who are the ones who are being killed? Who want you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. 不要自己，不要自己心里说，有亚伯拉罕为我们的祖先。我告诉你们，神能从这些石头中给亚伯拉罕兴起子孙来。And do not think you can say to yourselves, "We have Abraham as our father." I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. 当时有许多的宗教领袖，他们都非常腐败了。Many of the religious leaders were very corrupted to that time. 他们言行不一。They couldn't walk their talk. 常常讲一套做一套。Many a time they preached、um, differently from what they practiced. 我喜欢在面人人们面前 show off. And they liked to show off in front of others. 然后常常欺负那些弱小。They always bullied the weak ones. 贪爱钱财和名利。They loved money. They loved fame. 施洗约翰在面对这些人， In face of these people, 他是毫不留情的直接骂他们。John the Baptist didn't give them any face, and he just scolded them. 你们这些毒蛇的种类， you brood of vipers. 而且并且要他们悔改。And John the Baptist asked them to repent. 不但如此， not only so. 希律王他犯奸淫。When King Herod committed adultery, 跟他的兄弟腓力的妻子希罗底有一腿。When he committed adultery with his Uh, brother's wife Herodias. Oh, 施洗约翰他不顾生命的危险。So John the Baptist he risked his own life. 敢敢责备希律。He very publicly and very boldly rebuked this King Herod. 他说你娶了你兄弟的妻子是不合理的。He said that it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. 结果他就被希律关进监牢里面。In the end, he was imprisoned. 然后最后也被希罗底他怀恨在心暗杀他。Finally, because this、um, Herodias wanted to avenge for herself, and so、uh, John the Baptist was beheaded in the end. Why? 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 吩咐他的事。For he only did what God wanted him to do. 弟兄姐妹 ，Dear brothers and sisters， 只做上帝吩咐的事是很难的。It is very difficult to do what God wants you to do only. 特别是要在有权有势的人面前，要坚定的做上帝要我们做的事是很难的。And it's even harder when you have to keep on your principle doing that in front of those who have、uh, are more powerful than you. 不少的人看见。这些压力，面对到这这些困难的时候 ，many people when they are faced with such pressure， 他们就会选择妥协。They would choose to just give in。选择睁一只眼闭一只眼。They would choose to open one eye and close the other。选择放任。They would choose to let that people let those people do what they want。而不敢做正直的事。Instead of choosing to do the right thing。不敢说真话。Instead of choosing to say the right word。不敢指出他人的错误。Instead of、um, being bold and rebuke that person。不敢做我们基督徒应当做的事。Instead of doing what we Christians are called to do。然后今年我们立志，一切都要为基督的时候。Now I really pray that as we make up our mind to do all things for Christ in this year。我们真的是要学施洗约翰一样。Let us learn from John the Baptist。不管什么情况。In any circumstance。Circumstances. 不管面对什么人 ，No matter whom you're facing， 我们都要做上帝吩咐的事。Let us do what God wants us to do. 第三 ，Thirdly， 就是专注完成使命。He was very focused in accomplishing his task. 施洗约翰一出生，他就领受上帝的呼召了。From the very moment John the Baptist was born, he received the calling of God. 预备成为耶稣基督的开路先锋。He was prepared to become the forerunner and the messenger of our Christ. 马可福音一章五节讲到。Mark chapter one verse five. 犹太全地和全耶路撒冷的人都出去。到约翰那里，承认他们的罪，在约旦河里受他的死。The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. 
犹太全地、全耶路撒冷的人都听他讲道，都来他那里受洗。Just imagine the whole Judean countryside and every single person of in Jerusalem went to him, and they repented before him and received his teaching. 可想而知，施洗约翰他是多么的出名啊 ！Can you imagine how famous, how popular he was? 但是他没有被这些所谓的。荣耀冲昏了头。And yet he didn't lose his mind because of his fame or his status. 他没有忘记他自己是谁。He didn't forget who he was. 他非常清楚他自己的角色和任务是什么。He was very clear about his own identity and also his own role. 当有人问他的时候，哎，你是不是基督啊 ？When people asked him, "Are you the Christ?" 他就承认，并不隐瞒，承认说。我不是基督。He did not fail to confess, but confess fearly, freely that I am not the Messiah. 然后他们又问他，那么你是谁？是以利亚吗？他说我不是，是是哪位先知吗？他回答，不是。Then they continued to ask him, Are you Elijah? No, I'm not. Are you the prophet? No. 你不是基督，又不是以利亚，那你是谁啊 ？If you're not the Messiah, you're not Elijah. Then who are you? 他说：“我就是那在旷野呼喊的声音，修直主的道，正如以赛亚先知所说的。” John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, "I am the voice of one calling in the wilderness. Make straight the way for the Lord." 当耶稣开始出来传道的时候 ，When Jesus began to preach， 就是约翰看见耶稣就宣告：“看那、啊、神的羔羊。” When John the Baptist saw Jesus, he proclaimed, "Look." The Lamb of God. 那是约翰，他有门徒的。Now that time, John already began to have some disciples. 哎，他的两个门徒，他的两个门徒听到，哎，那个是基督哦。So when two disciples heard John proclaiming that Jesus was the Christ, 他们就转去跟耶稣了。They actually turned and followed Jesus. 啊，弟兄姐妹。So dear brothers and sisters, 如果你的徒弟看见哇，有另外一个师傅更顶了。If your apprentice were to see another more powerful master, 哦，他们立刻就过当到那里去了。And immediately they actually hop to the other master. 你会有什么感受 ？How would you feel？ 一定很生气，对吗 ？Of course you'll feel angry。是有此理啊。Ah, how could this be？ 这两个反骨仔。You too, huh? You are traitors。食碗面反碗底。You actually betrayed me。看到有人更好，走去就跟他了。You see a better master, and so you just stop following me。那是约翰他有没有这样做 ？And yet, did John the Baptist get angry？ 没有啊。No, he didn't。为什么 ？Why？ 就好像有一个朋友请你去唱 KTV。Just like this, you imagine your friend asked you to go and have a this karaoke session at the KTV. 你去到 KTV 那里。Once you reach KTV， 哎，有服务员就带你领你到你朋友预定的那个包厢里面。So the waiter came and led you to、um, the room that your friend has already booked. 到了那个包厢，你就对服服务员说：“谢谢你。” So once you reach that. Room, you said, "Oh, thank you" to the waiter. 然后你就进去跟你朋友唱 K 了。So you went in and you started to sing karaoke with your friends. 有没有服务员会生气说 ？Do you think that the waiter would get angry? 你们搞错，我把你领到这个包厢里面，你就不理我了，你就走去找你的朋友了。How could this be? I led you all the way to the room, and now when you when you get to see your friend, you just stop、uh, talking to me. 有没有服务员是这样啦 ？Do you think there would be any such waitress？ 没有啦，你讲了谢谢他就走了。Definitely no. After you thank him, the waiter would just walk away. 因为他已经完成任务了。Because he had finished his task. 所以施洗约翰他知道，他一生的任务就是要预备人的心去。接受耶稣基督。And so did our John Bapt, the Baptist. He knew very well that his plan, his mission of life, was to prepare people to receive Christ, the Messiah. 他的任务不是要收门徒，然后建立自己的宗教事业。His mission was not to、um, accept disciples and build up his own religious career. 所以当耶稣出现的时候 ，And so when he saw Jesus appear， 他的门徒过当去跟耶稣了。And when he saw that his own disciples started following Jesus， 他就知道他的任务完成了。He knew very well that his mission is accomplished. 如果一个人清楚知道他的角色是什么的话 ，If a person were to know clearly what his identity, his role is， 当他做完了过后 ，When he has finished his task。他绝对不会失落的。He will not feel sad or upset. 反而是非常的高兴，因为我完成了上帝托付我的事。Instead, he will be overjoyed because he knows that he has completed the task that God wants him to do. 
。这是施洗约翰的专注。This is how focused John the Baptist was. 专注是现代人非常缺乏的。And you know,、uh, to be fully focused is what we modern people lack nowadays. 在工作上，我们都常常看到一些人。You can see a lot of people while they are working. 一直在转行。They keep on changing their career. 不是换工哦，是转行啊。They are not just changing company, you know. They are actually changing their career options. 哇，前阵子才听他是卖保险呢、啊。So recently, you just heard that he started to sell insurance. 哎，最近又换了啊，去卖房地产了、啊。But now he's a property agent. 弟兄姐妹。Dear brothers and sisters. 如果我们没有学习专注的功课。If we did not learn how to focus. 不管我们的事业。No matter um in our career. 我们的侍奉。Our ministry, our marriage, our marriage, our whole life, 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 our And this spirit includes、um, these、uh, elements of being fully focused, being very precise, being very、um, unique and very creative. 简单来说，就是一辈子做一件事，并且把它做到精通。In a simple manner, I can tell you that artisan spirit refers to doing only one thing throughout our whole life, and you do it to the perfection. So. 我们去到日本，到处都可以看到那些老店或者老企业。And that's why when you visit Japan, you can always see a lot of、um, old shops or old、um, companies. 有许多都是超过两百年的老字号。Many of them are companies or brands that are more than two hundred years old. 不知道有没有人认识这个人 ？I'm not sure whether any of you have heard of him. 啊 ，Tetsuya Saotomi. Tetsuya Saotomi. 许多人都认为日本餐啊。沙西米、苏西或者那个鳗鱼是顶级的料理。So many people, when you think about Japanese cuisine, you will, uh, uh, what comes up in your mind, sushi or sashimi or there's a unagi. 但是 tempura 呢 ？And what about tempura? 有没有人喜欢吃 tempura? Any one of you likes to eat tempura here? 对他们来说，哎 ，tempura 就炸东西而已嘛。To a lot of people, you know, tempura they are just fried things. 就好像夜市那些炸的食物一样。Just like when you go to the pasar malam, you can eat those fried things. 哎呀，普普通通的食物。Just normal food. 那是当那些人吃过烧透米的料理的这个 tempura。And yet, whoever has tasted tempura prepared by Mr. Sao Tome. 全部都会对 tempura 有所改观。They would definitely change their mind towards tempura. 为什么他的 tempura 那么特别呢 ？Why is his tempura so different? 有什么好吃呢 ？What is so special about it? 他的餐厅只卖一种食物，就是 tempura. You know what? His restaurant only sells tempura, and that's all. 然后他从十七岁到现在，都还是在炸 tempura. Ever since he was the age seventeen, all the way until now. He only he has been only doing one thing, which is to prepare tempura. Fifty 多年来，每一天都是在炸 tempura. Over the past fifty years, he has been doing only one thing, cooking tempura. 然后他不断的改进，不断的创新 He keeps improving. He keeps um um this innovative spirit in his career. 为了确保他的料理。让顾客吃到是最好吃的。In order to make sure that his customers could enjoy the best tempura from him， 他每天去到市场买鱼买菜的时候 ，every time every day when he goes to the market to buy vegetables and also this um、uh, to to do grocery marketing， 他都确保每一条鱼虾每一根菜都是最新鲜的。He makes sure that every seafood that he buys is a Freshest one. 然后在炸的时候 ，and while he was、uh, frying his tempura， 啊，水分的控制啊 ，he has to control of the water。不同的食材要用不同的那个油量啊。Different ingredients will use different uh, uh this amount of oil。还有油温也是要很控制。He must also 
take good control of the temperature of the oil. 然后要炸几秒钟。And how many seconds you need to fry this ingredient? 全部都要掌握到好。Everything has to be done so precisely. 然后就连菜单他都自己画上去。He even actually created his own menu. Sao Tome, he 每天都始终如一。Mr. Sao Tome does the Same thing every day. 专注把工作做到最好。He focuses on doing his work to the perfection. 所以人们称他为 tempura 之神。And so people call him the king of tempura. 有人说什么才是神级的 tempura 呢 ？So people will say, hmm, what do you mean by this a godly or heavenly tempura? 就是当你吃到一第一口 tempura 的时候。It, this is how you describe it. The first bite when you put it in your mouth. 你不会觉得，哎呀，还是沙西米比较好吃。You will never ever have the thought that、hmm, it's better to eat sashimi. 如果是那样的话，就是最棒的 tempura. Now, if this is what happens, you you put it in, you never thought about sashimi. This is the best tempura you could ever have. 因为对勺汤米来说，没有最好，只有。更好。Because to Mr. Sao Tome, there isn't the best. There's only always something that is better next. 一生专注做一件事，看起来好像很 boring 这样。It seems so boring to do only one thing throughout your whole life。对吗？有有没有在做的？有没有人？你是到现在都还是在做同样的事情 ？Let me ask you, any of you has been only doing one thing throughout your whole life until now？ 但是其实这正是上帝在我们每一个人的生命中。特定的计划。And yet, this is actually actually God's plan for us. 他没有叫我们什么都去做。God doesn't want us to do all things. 他没有叫牧师啊，又来牧养教会，然后又去做生意。God doesn't、um, ask the pastor to come and pastor the church and at the same time go and do some business. 因为我们每个人一天只有二十四个小时。Because we're only given twenty-four hour a day. 如果你东做做西做做的话 ，If you are to do this a little bit and do that a little bit， 你绝对不会把上帝要你做的。事情做好。Definitely, you won't be able to carry out God's task perfectly. 所以我常鼓励弟兄姐妹。That's why I always encourage my brothers and sisters. 不要参与太多不同的侍奉。Please do not take part in too many ministries. 好好专注在一个服侍的领域里面。Why don't you just focus in one? 你做招待的，你就专注做招待。If you're an usher, well, do it to the best. 成为一个最好的招待员。Try to be the best usher. 你领唱的。If you're a song leader. 就专注的做领唱。Focus on it。如果觉得自己不够好的 ，If you think that you are not good enough， 不要紧，一一直进步，一直改进。It's all right, keep on improving yourself。总之，这次一定要比上一次做到更好。You just have to have this mindset. This time will be a better one than the last time。这样慢慢我们就会完成上帝托付我们的使命。This is how we gradually accomplish God's calling. 当然不只是侍奉而已。And of course, I'm not talking about ministries only. 还包括我们生活的每一个层面。This actually refers to all aspects of our life. 因为上帝在每一个人身上都有特定的呼召。Because God has a special calling for you and for me. 如果你是做生意的 ，If you're a businessman， 你就诚诚实实、好好的做。Well, do it honestly. 让人看见你生意成功的时候，看见。背后的上帝。So that when you're successful in your business, people can see the God who is behind your business. 教书的就好好正确的传递知识给你的学生。If you're a teacher, teach it well. 用你的生命来影响他们。Use your life to impact your students. 打工的。Those who are employees. 你就尽心尽力做好你的本分。You do your best. 做好一个好同事。好员工。You be a good colleague. You be a good subordinate. 做家庭主妇的。Those who are housewives. 就把家里打扫干干净净。Well, you clean up your house. 每一天煮的菜肴越来越进步。You make sure that your cooking skill improves every day. 然后越来越多创新。And you be more creative every day. 不要煮了几十年，哇，越煮越难吃。Don't don't cook more and more, and then it gets worse. 所以求主帮助我们。May God help us. Help us not to be、um, so undetermined and so undecisive. 不要想到哇，我很多东西要做，很想做，什么都要做。So do not think that oh, I have so many things to do. 把你的精神和精力都放在主呼召你要去做的那件事情上。Put all your efforts, all your energy on that one thing that God wants you to do. 这样你就能够专注的完成上帝给你的使命。That way you'll be able to focus on it and to accomplish it. 
上帝对施洗约翰的一生有独特的计划。God has a special plan for John the Baptist. 他也完成了上帝在他生命中的计划。John the Baptist also has accomplished God's calling in his life. 就是他一生只为耶稣基督。He lives his whole life only for Jesus Christ. 不只是施洗约翰。Not only John the Baptist, but John the Baptist. 上帝对你对我。都有独特的计划。God also has a unique plan for you and for me. 在这新一年的开始。In this very beginning of 2022, 弄清楚上帝在我们身上的计划是什么。Let us be clear of what God's calling in our life is. 因为上帝把你放在这个领域。Because when God puts you in a certain area, 上帝把你放在这个地方。When God puts you in a certain place, 他一定有一个任务要给你。I'm sure God has a plan, has a mission for you. 肯定肯定不是为了要赚钱。Definitely not because God wants you to make money. 赚钱，你得到的那些金钱是上帝给你的恩典。You know the money that you make is actually extra grace from God. They're just bonus. 上帝肯定还有更大、更重要的事情要你去做。God will definitely have a bigger or a more beautiful plan for you. 所以让我们珍惜。Let us appreciate this moment right now. 好好预备自己，准备上场。Let us prepare ourselves and get ready to go up the stage. 在面对任何压力问题的时候 ，When we are faced with any pressure or any problems， 不要退缩，不要妥协。Do not give in. Do not run away. 只做上帝。要你做的事。Do what God wants you to do. 然后专注的把事情做到最好。Be focused on it and do it to the best. 专注的完成上帝给你的任务。Be focused on God's calling for you. 这样我们就是一生为主了。That is how we can spend our whole life for God. 所以最后我要挑战每一位。Finally, I would like to give all of you a challenge. 不管是坐在这里的还是线上的。Be those who are here or those who are participating in the online. 在这新的一年里面 ，In this new year， 让我们一整年都专注为主做一件事，好不好 ？Let us be really focused, pay attention to do only one thing for the Lord。就是做你现在正在做的事情。Do the thing that you are currently doing。你的工作，你的侍奉。Your work, your ministry。就比去年做的更好。Must be better than the last year。好好学习。一生只为主。Let us learn how to spend our whole life only for Christ。好吗 ？Shall we do that？ 我们同心祷告。Let us pray。主，我们感谢你。Lord Jesus， we thank you。让我们看见你的仆人，他如何为你献上自己。We have seen how your servant serve、uh, sacrificed himself for you。看见你如何预备他。We have seen how you prepared him。他也如何。忠心的做你要他做的事， and how faithful he was in doing what you asked him to do， 并且专注的完成他的任务。How focused he was to finish his his task。主啊，很多时候我们在这方面真的是很缺乏。Many a time we lack such focus and such、um, attention。我们也很亏欠。God, we feel sorry。可能很多年我们都没有把你要给我们做的事情做好。Perhaps over the many years in the past, we have failed to carry out your task. 可能我们被其他的事物牵引到不知道哪里去了。Perhaps we are in nowhere, being distracted by other things. 盼望这二零二二年的开始。God, we pray that in the very beginning of 2022. 主啊，我们要回再次的回到你的面前。Help us to once again come back to you. 再次重新复习你给我们的使命和你要我们做的这些事。To revise once again your calling and your mission for us. 并且靠着你重新出发。Through you, let us have another good beginning. 预备好自己。Help us to be well prepared. 顺从你。Help us to be submissive to you. 专注的侍奉你。And help us to be focused on serving you. 把一切荣耀都归给你。Help us to give all glory sent to you. 这是我们在你面前的祷告。This is our prayer before you. 奉主耶稣基督的名。In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.